Down by five points in the fourth quarter, Boston was on the brink of a 3-2 series deficit. They rallied to go up by one and hope to hold on. All right, it goes now quickly over to Blambeer, back to Thomas. Thomas bringing the ball up top. Start the drive. Goes again. Start the drive again. Stop. Pops and hits it. All right, it's 107-106, but there are 17 seconds left. And Boston will get another crack at it. The Celtics had a final chance to pull out the win, and all eyes were focused on one man. Larry Bird, basketball's undisputed miracle worker. All right, Bird is putting the ball on the play, and Dumars comes over to get right on DJ, and DJ gets the pass anyway. All right, 14 seconds left. On the left, it goes to Bird. Bird guarded by Mahorn, drives around him, goes on in, and the ball Gets knocked out of bounds by eight. Oh, they call it the other way. And now there's a steal by Bird. Underneath the DJ, lays it in. Right up, one second left. What a play by Bird. Bird stole the inbounding pass. Laid it up to DJ. DJ laid it up and in. And Boston has a one point lead with one second left. Oh, my, this place is going crazy. They had game 5-1. There's no question about it. Uh, they should have won that game. And um, they forgot, you know, forgot about Larry Bird. That's all. I tell you, Isaiah Thomas made a play. He'll, he'll remember the rest of his life. He just blew the play totally. And, uh, you know, people ask me if, uh, if I was surprised about Larry making that play. Heavens no, we, we see that play every day of practice. There's no question they thought they had the game won, and I would have thought I had the game won too. But um, the thing is, you know, they could have called timeout very easily and advanced the ball up court. But um, the players didn't see the coach hollering and screaming. Um, Jerry System put what we call great pressure on the ball because if a guy's taking the ball out of bounds, you want to try to put some pressure on him to make him throw a lob pass or a soft pass out there. And after I got up off the floor, after being knocked down, trying to you know score in the last play, uh, I get up and I'm guarding uh, Joe Dumars, and I see Lambeer standing there by himself, and all I did was run over there to try to foul him. And once I seen the ball being lofted up over Sistine's head, I felt I had a chance at it, and I got my hand in there and stowed it. And just as I got it, I'd seen a, a white jersey streaking down uh, towards a basket. And I turn and his DJ, of course, and he gets it and lays it in. Everything went wrong for them and everything went right for us. And, and in four seconds, hey, we're on top and we're ready to head for the world championships. One more victory to go and we couldn't be happier. We're, we're psyched.